Space. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jade Monkey. We're back here in Rust to talk about that Rust console edition for the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, Next Generations, and everything in between. And today we're going over the cargo ship. This is a cargo ship guide for all players, solo duos, trios, large groups. It uh, doesn't matter where you are in the wipe. This is how you run it. Okay, so let's go ahead and step through. We're going to have a summary here, kind of show you the basic tactics, some of the nomenclature, and then we're actually going to run a cargo ship here on the server. Okay, so, and I know we're on PC, but this just enables us to kind of do things quicker. I do have admin mode on, so I can kind of fly around and do things much faster, but believe you me, this is how you run it. Uh, we've done it on console edition uh, plenty of times over on PTB, and we'll be doing it over on main branch soon enough. Okay, so there's two variations of this. We have the radiation version, the rad version, and the box version. It's basically the same tactics, um, it's just that the cover changes. So when we say rad or box, uh, that's what we're talking about. Okay, so orientation. Oh, wait, you know what? Let me back up a second. Okay, so this bad boy spawns on the map about every two to three in-game days. Uh, every time the horn sounds, there will be loot spawns throughout the ship. There can be crates, mill crates, elite crates, and also hackable crates. So when you hear the horn, take a look. Um, and the longer you're on, you'll have more and more of those horns, and you really have to start to make loot decisions. Uh, it comes in clockwise, and it lasts about 50 trips round trip around the island itself. And it starts off on the edge. Let me show you right here. Like, you know how we have a grid here? It'll start out, like, way off in the corner somewhere, like, way off in the edge. So just listen for it or check it about every, you know, one and a half to, like, two hours or so. Okay. Uh, so we have the different spots on the ship here. We have the front, which is pretty self-explanatory. We have the midsection of the ship. I know these aren't nautical terms. And the back section of the ship. And finally, the lower section. There are two compartments in the lower section. These, All these places are where loot crates can spawn. Uh, all of them. Loot crates, mill crates, hackable crates, all of it. Okay, so let me go through real fast the attire for this. You could do this a lot of different ways. Um, all of these kits here are definitely options you can do to run oil rig. Oil rig, geez, cargo ship. I keep doing that. So I think the best one's the middle kit right here. We're going to go ahead and swap that one on. Um, probably the best. Uh, you've got the Timmy, uh, about a full stack of bullets, about 100 cloth, and a ladders, believe it or not, a bone knife, and a med pen. And you don't actually need med pens. You just need to bring some more cloth. The reason why I'm not bringing bandages is because things stack better when they're actually cloth. Okay, um, let me just show you the rest of the kits here. And um, the scuba set's pretty good if you're going to swim up on it. Uh, if you jump off of a boat, we'll talk about that tactic here in a second. Uh, and you can even go Grub 9000. I mean, check this out. I got some pumpkins and a DB and some total low-end gear. You can totally run it. So, just saying. Lots of different ways to do it. Okay, so rolling up here, and I know this isn't on the PC version, that, but this definitely is on our version. So the red area around the ship, I'm going to call it an eddy or a current. If you, uh, if you miss the dismount, or if you swim up to it, you actually will be traveling with the ship. So you can actually get down there, swim around, and then go back up the ladders. The ladders are represented here by the yellow areas. So really, a lot of people can just swim up, catch those eddies, and then hit the ladders. Also, if you saw the ladders on my inventory, yes, you can ladder up on the cargo ship, uh, not only from the bottom, but anywhere uh, that has a flat surface, pretty much, and you can attach it there. So. A lot of times when I tell people uh, to come up on cargo ship, usually you want to come from the back and use the smokestacks as cover if there are snipers and stuff. But anyways, just so you know, there's this eddy around the outside and you've got these ladders for attach points. Uh, if you are going to dismount f in front of the boat so people can't hear you, the best way to do it is to drop yourself in front of the boat where they can't hear you and then use those flippers to swim around either left or right. And the boat won't run you over unless you hit the prop itself underwater. So it's kind of hard to do. Um, so yeah, don't be too afraid of the boat. And again, ladders. Ladders are a different, a different option for you to actually attach to. And full disclosure, uh, Xbox and PlayStation, the best way to attach to ladders is to use your action button. Uh, yes, you can dismount and try to hit it. Uh, like you hit A and then try to jump onto it. And But it's better to attach to the ladder. You'll actually see a prompt for it. It'll say um, X for the Xbox. And I want to say it's... I want to say it's square for PlayStation, but don't, qu don't quote me on that. Just, it's your action button. Um, the standard places you can attach are here on the ladders. You can see them. There's four of them total. They're right next to the CCSC, the Lazarus. Uh, Lazarus. 
logo there on the left and right and that leads you right into these pockets here where they're scientists but it's not too bad because you want to push up these ladders and kind of get under uh, just behind that scientist there like under those boxes and then heal it's really all about and you'll see this in a second um, it's all about pushing one scientist uh, dumping like a whole magazine in them and then healing with bandages to stop and then if you've got the med pens go ahead and boost up but usually it's like you're just crafting a lot of bandages if you've got the time if you're not being pressed by other players Okay, uh, and again, using these eddies on the side, you can attach letters virtually anywhere. Uh, okay, so here's the deal. When you board this, for me, I'm going to clear scientists in the back of the boat all the way up to the captain's area, and then I'm going to go under the deck, clear it, come back to the top, and then clear the top deck. Because I like having scientists in this general area, because that means anybody who boards the boat might get smoked by a scientist, or at least will give you early warning. That's just a tactic I like. Uh, and when you do work your way up to the end of the boat here, I'm sorry, end of the boat, back of the boat, um, you really can just hit these uh, staircases here and kind of push your way back. You really want to stay away from these guys on the outside. Uh, there's three snipers, more or less. Not snipers, but they're just in a high position. You have two above the bridge, and you have one at the crow's nest or at the mast in the front. So I, that's why I'm like, hey, push for this. Uh, you have a lot of uh, visibility down on the deck itself. You can really see people coming. You can shoot them in the water, but it keeps you out of range of this guy and some of these clowns in the midsection. Uh, I, I'm just a fan of that. So it really, you want to, you either want to pot shot these guys down on the deck itself in the midsection, or you just want to push this guy and then roll right under this red canopy in the back, and then you're going to be just taking them out one by one. Okay, so once you do get up there, uh, clear the captain's quarters, the bridge, I'm sorry, uh, which is pretty self-explanatory. Then you can work your way back down and you can enter the lower deck in four spots, really on the back and in the front of the boat. And it's advised that you kill these guys again at the top, right? So you've got these two uh, entryways here and then at the front of the ship, same idea. And then really there's only, I want to say... A maximum of four, but there's usually only two clowns down on the lower decks, and they're sitting up on these, like, uh, like kind of scaffold areas. They're pretty easy to see. It's like you just pop down and kind of just pot shot them. Don't let them get to you. Don't go down in this pit area until you know those scientists are clear, and then just listen for sounds. And you want to be popping those crates and making sure you've got those timers. Again, listening for the horn, and then checking the entire ship again, as it is going to spawn more loot. And we have the evac. Um, there is a rib on the back that also has low grade inside and there is a box in the front of this boat so you can start to make loot decisions and pack the boat i would strongly recommend when you pack the boat to make sure you have non-lethal things on the boat or on, yeah on the boat storage because somebody could easily get on board sneakily and then <coughs> use uh, like a shotgun or something against you okay so we're going to spawn one here and we're going to board uh what was i doing here we go ba -da -ba -ba. I think we're just going to go right up in the front, quite quite possibly. I'll show you where it is on the side, but I want to make an approach from the back. See? We've got the guy up on the scaffold here. Let's start taking pot shots. But then you can attach... You really want to hug the side of the boat. It gives you more opportunity to... See that action button right there? That's how you want to do it. Anyways, if you're coming from the back of the boat, use those smokestacks to kind of keep those snipers with the scientists at the top at bay, and then creep up to the side of the boat and then use the ladders on the side. Or you could attach the ladders here as well. You can switch the position inside of your boat and then attach yourself to the ladder. Again, use the action. Don't dismount and try to grab it as it is. Um, I really just did that. Okay, I'm going to use my admin stuff and come back. It's a bit different on the PC. I can't get quite as close. We definitely can on the, on the console side, though. So I'm going to get up here and take the initiative. Looks like we have the box version of the cargo ship. Once I do mount this, I'm going to clear the scientist heal, and then I'm going to... Actually, what I should have been doing is making bandages. Oh, I almost had it. That's why sometimes using a ladder in the back is kind of your best bet, because it makes it just a little bit easier. Really? I'm fell off the side. Okay, I'm just going to attach myself to the side of the boat. No, no, I'm going to get on this boat, and I'm going to do it again. It's actually a bit harder on the PC, believe it or not. I had it for a split second. Yeah, here's the other thing. If you're coming up on the side like this, I guess this is a good opportunity to talk about this why I fail a bunch. Um, remember, your boat makes a ton of sound, so if you bring the boat well in front of the cargo ship and then you dismount and swim up, no one's going to hear that. Um, and especially if you're defending the boat, listen for other rowboats, speedboats, rowboats. 
There we go, I got it. See how it, like I attached to it? And then you want to make sure you've got your weapon out and then push this guy immediately. And if he's not there, stand under. Make sure you're good and not bleeding. I would start crafting more bandages. Where are you, medical? I usually queue up like 10 at a time, right? And that's why you bring a stack of cloth. Um, really? Okay, so the box one is nice because you don't have the guys in the front or the back of the boat picking you off. But these long walkways like that are kind of dangerous. And that's why. You really want to isolate and then I would be up here and then I would heal myself like this. Okay, yeah, come down and push me. You bandage once to stop the healing and then you pop like a med pen or you just keep healing depending on what you got. Reload. Uh, isolate push and then uh, a reason why we brought the bone knife is you can actually cut up the scientist for more cloth so you can make yourself more bandages so if you're playing smart you'll be good uh, I think we can just keep pushing up here on this side I do have invincibility on full disclosure just so I don't actually mess this tutorial up a bunch but believe me this is how you do it so then you would heal then you would check this guy for a med pen and then you uh, cut them up with the bone knife. You drop like the bones and stuff. Look at that. You get ammo and stuff too. It's great. Reload. And then you're just like making room for more stuff at this point, right? Oh my goodness. Alright, so this guy. Usually when a pod got him and then stay back and heal. I got him. Yay. So then you'd be bandaging again. Harvest this guy, if you haven't already. This is one of the main reasons why I like to push up. Whoops. I forgot that guy was there. Sometimes, it just depends on where it's at. Like, where these guys are at in their patrols. You probably want to shoot this clown. Oh, his, his boyfriend stepped in front. Alright, he, he down. Then you're going to be down here healing, crafting more, doing all that kind of stuff. Crafting more bandages doing it. A little bit sloppy. You would be isolating these guys, definitely. So another reason why you want to have a boat base on the shoreline is because there's times where you'll fail this just clearing scientists. There'll be times that other players come up and clap you. So if you've got a base with a boathouse, you can spawn there, you know, put on your kit from your locker and like make another push. Look at that. We've got you know, there's a little. I'm just going to drop it on the floor because we don't really have room. I like to come up here and clear the bridge first. You can climb up here and kind of take a little peek. It's kind of like a little. If I'm, if I'm any good at jumping, I'm not. There we go. It's kind of a nice way to like catch somebody off guard. You can ladder up through here as well, not only on the side of the boat. Um, I kind of like to check the back to make sure nobody's lurking. Then you can use these ladders on the side to get up. I like to push this because um, you, you've got a, a good line of sight. You can check these little pockets for scientists. But you can really hold or defend the cargo ship pretty well. So they're either going to be on the left or right. Bad guess on my part, huh? Wrong side. So you loot that. You cut him up, craft more bandages. And then get ready once you step onto the bridge and go up this set of stairs. There should be a guy to the right. Oh, what's great is even if you're bad at aiming, which I definitely am, all you really need to do is, if you've got a Timmy and some bullets, um, just get up there and just unload it in his chest. You'll be good. And these guys, if you somehow get on board and these guys aren't dead yet, I kind of like to take the pot shot from back here and kind of peek them and go pop, pop, you know, step close, and then do the same thing over there. But once these two guys are down, you're good to go. Same thing on this side. And then you climb up the smokestack. Look at that, we got some loot. How about that? Boom. And then if you've got the range, you can take this dude out from way back here. Dude, am I so bad? I got him, yay! So again, when the loot or the horn goes, you can hear, or I'm sorry, you can see the loot spawn in different areas. Sometimes it's up here, sometimes it's downstairs, it's all over the place. Okay, so once this is clear, you can go downstairs. Then I like to clear that lower deck and then come up on the front of the ship and then sweep your way back. You're going to sweep that lower section and then you're going to uh, the upper mid deck. You're going to sweep that out. And you can kind of jump over this railing here. 
and then jump over this railing, and then you can go downstairs. It's not, it's quite useful to actually have, see, look at this guy just creeping right here, like a flashlight, but it's so easy to clap these guys down here. A lot of times you can just push them. Makes it nice and easy. He puts his light on. Then you make bandage. And then med pen. And it's great. These guys spawn med pens on the regular. And if you're if you're on here solo and you're holding a position, being down in this pit area, this lower section in the shadows, is very dirty and it's very effective. And then you take some cover, push this guy. I like to get close and unload on him, so like this guy was giving me trouble. I just come over here and, you know, push, push. Just like oil rig scientists, you want to isolate, push, clean him up, and then heal. Rinse, repeat. Cut him up for the same thing. Now you're clear down here. Then you're going to go down and check the different areas. There's a ton of places the boxes can spawn. And you'll be like, man, I thought I looted all this. And then, like, more will pop in. Sometimes they're down here. Sometimes there's crates down here. All kinds of stuff. We got a box right there. Sneaky, sneaky. I'm just throwing it on the ground. I want you guys to see the loot table. There you go. Elite crate. Boom. Armored door. So again, uh, you would want to kind of sort through the loot and then go to the rib and place non-lethal items in there. So uh, nobody can use it against you. There's like some elite crates and stuff up in the front. Or military crates, rather. Now there should be scientists up here. This can get a little hairy, too. Because if, if this guy up here starts shooting you, you know, or this guy... Um, it can get out of control a little bit. That's why I like to take out Mr. Crow's Nest Man we well ahead of time. But think about it. The reason why we leave these scientists here is if somebody comes up on the boat, they're going to have to deal with the scientists. They will definitely give you a heads up uh, because you'll hear the scientists unload on them. We should be hearing, I think, a horn in a little bit. Do it about every 10 or 15 minutes. I haven't found a crate yet. If you do check the map, you will see how many crates are on board. Oh, there's one in the back. I missed it. You can see how the crate one's a bit easier because you don't have to deal with... Oh, we don't have Molotovs. Don't look at that. <gasps> don't look at me. A lot of times when you're holding the ship, since people don't know about the ladders, a lot of people hold this position on the side, so... That's another reason why the back is kind of nice for the approach. But again, you can't dismount that way and then push up. Where is this crate? Am I, am I atop? Is it below us? Anyway, so you hit the hackable crates. Another technique you can use with the hackable crates is you can shoot the computer screen and it will uh, stall the timer. So a lot of times, if you've got really good loot, you can leave with the rib and then come back. There you go. We just got the horn going. Oh. These go for 15 minutes unless you delay them longer. And then we should have another hackable crate on board. That was perfect timing, actually. Look at this. We got milk crates over here. Bam. Make some more timmies. Good to go. So yeah, another reason uh, you want to have like a boathouse Again, it's for these respawns. I think I said that earlier. But uh, if you're looking for a good boat base, I've got the Jib Boat Base. I'll go ahead and link that now in the upper right-hand corner. It's nice to get you. Oh, there we go. Nice to get you started. Uh, it's good for respawning over on the... Uh, I keep. I want to say oil rig all the time, and I don't know why. For the cargo ship. So that's the gist of it. The longer you stay, the more you risk. Um, but it's really nice to uh, kind of just sit here and camp out. Sometimes you don't even get the whole ship. Sometimes it's about clapping the dudes that come on board because they come in with some heavy gear. So you just kind of play it smart, especially if you're a solo. Being quiet, the element of surprise is your best friend, uh, especially when you're solo. And I would strongly suggest doing the flipper move and then pushing uh, and swimming up to the front of the boat. Just make sure you have a clean line to go forward um, so that the boat doesn't turn away from you. And then here you can load up things the cargo ship and then when you're done just be real careful because once you mount it and touch this it releases the the rib on the back and another little tip if you don't see the rib on the back of the boat you know someone's been there so it's not saying there won't be loot on board it just means stay frosty then you use the rib to a scopy 
It is also suggested that you bring some type of wetsuit or, and this is why the hazmat suit is so good because it is waterproof. It's not exactly good for cold, but it will keep you dry. So if you do have to swim in the off chance or, you know, especially if some chads come on board, you should be uh, good enough to swim back home and not completely get melted. So there you go. That's Cargo Ship Guide for all players. Uh, be sure to drop a like and a subscribe. We'll go ahead and put up the jib again on the end screen. If you're looking for a good uh, water or boat base to help support cargo ship, we should say it's cargo ship ready. So we'll see you guys uh, on stream, baby.